I am back from my first ever cruise and today I'm going to be sharing all of my impressions, my thoughts on cruising in general and also all the specifics of the cruise I went on. Starting with a little vlog. Right, here's what we're going to do today. I am going to take you along with me for the entire day. I'm going to show you what I'm eating, where I'm eating it, the views that I'm seeing, the activities available on the ship. But after that, I'm going to talk more generally about the ship. <laughs> Now, our first port of call is my balcony. Oh, look at this. So windy. Now, let me show you what my room looks like. You've got these two beds. I got twin beds. I'm traveling with my friend. This is the bathroom. You got a shower in the corner all our toiletries, you get um, a hair dryer and everything available, there is shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, body lotion, everything you need. Um, and little hooks here, my travel caddy. Um... Okay, now I'm gonna quickly do my makeup and report back in a sec. And we are ready to go. I have packed a little day bag, a giant sweater because it's cold. We got some spare masks, bathrobe, got my phone, obviously, got a book, and we're off. Deck 5 is full of luxury boutiques and restaurants. There are places selling luxury watches, there are paintings that are going on auction, you get handbags, you get jewelry, literally anything you can imagine. But on this particular day, my objective is to get in and out as quickly as possible. I just want to grab some herbal tea and a muffin and then I want to go to my special place. Okay, we've just arrived at the hideaway is my favorite spot to do just that. I have brought my blueberry muffin and my tea and my book. So I'm gonna have a very leisurely breakfast and then we're gonna head upstairs. Hello, welcome to the pool bar. I have acquired friends. Hello. Oh, we got the extra views there. Um, Anastasia. And Sarah in the back in the captain's hat are leading. We're gonna be doing this. Started raining! <laughs> oh, ah! Oh, ah! <laughs> okay, that wasn't the most promising of starts, but actually, I did look amazing! That was so. And the sun's out now, finally. Look at it. We are at the beginning of November. In fact, well, no, that's a lie. We're at the end of October because today is Halloween. Um, but it's incredible to just be outside in the UK. <sighs> okay, it is lunchtime and we're going to the Ocean View Cafe. Yes, or where a buffet. Exactly, a buffet. We're gonna eat a lot. Right, just got back from my late lunch at Ocean View Buffet and it was wonderful. There are so many different stations. You've got Mexican, Indian food, you've got different Asian cuisines, you got a salad bar. Well, no, 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 you don't have one salad bar. You have about three different salad bars. There was roasted honey glazed ham. There was a vegan and vegetarian and gluten-free station. It is all covered. I love food <laughs> and I will be honest with you, I had four different courses, um, not including dessert. You to take advantage of these opportunities when they present themselves and now i'm quickly gonna hop in the shower and get ready for tonight because tonight as i mentioned is halloween and the boat is hosting the ship is hosting um silent disco okay we're ready let's go see the other monsters are you not scared look at these monsters I'm so scared oh my god you're Look at this! You look fantastic! Stop it! Thank you, likewise! Outfit of the night! Sparkly! We all look suitably slutty. My answer is the only answer you is correct. We're doing a quiz. You know what happened to me? I broke my leg. The very next true story. And I broke my leg because of that cat. Okay, the food's here, but unfortunately, we ordered for about. 
mistakes, which is how many people have abandoned us over the course of this evening because they're all feeling seasick because the sea's been a bit rough. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of eating to do. I reckon we're going to do. I have faith in us. I believe in us. tonight no food waste okay I think we did pretty well there yes I am so proud of us we have done very well yeah I think we outdid ourselves yes. feeling a little bit full now the plan initially was to go dancing I am not sure I yeah. am not sure whether we can now do you want to do silent disco or do you want to do like a movie in bed situation yeah. I mean I know what my heart wants the food's prevailed I am going to bed. I am not going to do a sound disco. It looked so fun though. Look at this footage. <laughs> we just have to do it next time. And now let's get to the second portion of the video. My cruise was a three night one with celebrity cruises and it started in Southampton, which is on the south coast of England. Now the destinations perhaps weren't as exciting as your classic Caribbean or Mediterranean cruise, but my objective for this trip was very specific and that was to stay on the ship and figure out everything there is to do on cruises because I'd never done a cruise before as is evident from the title and the content of this video but I was so curious about what they were like I'd heard loads of mixed opinions and I just wanted to get some clarity for myself uh, now before we get started on our four categories I just want to mention that some of the amenities vary ship to ship the ship I was on was the celebrity silhouette the four categories Categories we're going to be covering are number one boarding, number two the rooms, number three food and drink, my favorite, and number four entertainment. Let's start with boarding. How you get to the port obviously depends on where you're based. I live in London so I just took a train and then literally walked to the cruise ship from there. Ports don't tend to be super picturesque and most people take a taxi but I had never been to one before and was feeling curious. Check this out. So big. When you arrive, you will hand over your luggage, which will be taken directly to your cabin. After that, you walk inside the terminal where you go through security and present your documents. You'll need your passport and currently also a negative COVID test. After that, you're ready to board. It sort of feels like a cross between getting on an airplane and checking into a large hotel. This takes me to our second category, the rooms. These are divided into staterooms and suites, and there are many different types. Mine was a veranda stateroom, which I shared with my friend Anastasia. <gasps> oh my God. Hi. <laughs> the veranda stateroom is a mid-range one. The cheapest ones are inside, meaning they have no windows, while the fanciest ones literally have two bathrooms, walk-in closets, giant balconies, you name it. Our next category is food and drink, and this was by far my favorite part of being on a cruise. You can get food literally anytime. You can get it delivered to your room. You can go to a restaurant. The restaurant can be outside. It can be inside. You can eat on your terrace if your room has one. You can, like, <laughs> there is no end to the amount and variety of food that you can eat. There are two main dining options on Celebrity Silhouette, which are included in the price of your ticket. The buffet restaurant I showed you in the vlog portion of this video, and this one, Grand Cuvée. It has a nice varied menu, slightly French influenced with lovely onion soup and escargot. Yep, that is snails. Not to brag, but we ate our way through pretty much the entire menu on our three days there, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. One word on the cocktails. When you pay for your cruise, you can choose from various packages, some of which include premium drinks and cheaper ones that don't. Always make sure you understand what is and isn't included. So that was the main restaurant, but there are so-called specialty dining restaurants on cruises as well. You need to pay extra if you want to visit these, but it's typically worth it. This right here is one of them called Le Petit Chef. It has projectors above each table that show you a cute cartoon character preparing your dishes before you receive them. There's a set menu which includes bouillabaisse fish stew, lobster tail and steak, but they can also provide alternative options. 
The next restaurant I want to show you was by far my favorite. It's called Sushi on Five and I really, really enjoyed the food there. As the name suggests, they mainly serve sushi and Japanese food. This was actually my first time trying fresh wasabi root, which is really different to the powdered stuff you normally get in restaurants. Okay. Fresh wasabi, never had this before. Mm. Oh god, <laughs> I think I took too much. Um, but that's delicious. That's very different to like regular wasabi that you get. Yeah, taste the difference. Um, it's good. And it doesn't end there. There were lots of specialty dining restaurants on board the Celebrity Silhouette, including a cafe serving ice cream sandwiches. When you go on a cruise, I also totally recommend ordering breakfast in bed, which came at no extra cost on my trip. Right, here's what happened. I got a bit drunk last night, came in at about 1 a.m. and then I ordered breakfast. But I think when I was ordering, I was a little peckish because this is what arrived. One, two, three. <laughs> I actually had to bring out another table onto our balcony to accommodate the order. Um, but it looks great. Okay, now let's talk entertainment. There is always something happening on a cruise. I am personally not always a big fan of organized entertainment, but with that in mind, I was pleasantly surprised. There is a lot you can do while you're on a cruise. The, the idea is to just have a very full itinerary and then people can pick and choose and that's exactly what I did. You already saw some of the things that I got up to in my vlog, the jacuzzis, the pub quiz, the silent disco, um, but there is a lot more. I really liked being out on the deck. During the day, I would sit outside with a book and a hot tea, watching the sea waves and enjoying the views. It was obviously late in the season, so I had to wrap up warm, but that did mean I often had those spaces to myself. All of this was especially beautiful at night. I am still kicking myself for not having an evening dip in the jacuzzi, but I didn't get around to it for good reason. There was so much to do inside the ship. Most notably, there was a huge theater putting on great shows. My favorite was a West End musical performance by the Barricade Boys. They also had Olympic athlete Sally Gunnell give an inspiring talk. That was a very nice surprise. My final entertainment shout out goes to the Martini Bar, which served possibly the most delicious cocktail I have ever had. A Black Forest Gatto Martini with whipped cream and a cherry on top. So good. Have you ever been on a cruise? If so, please drop a comment below. Let me know how it went. Did you enjoy it? Would you do it again? Um, personally, I probably would do it again, especially for the food and drink. It, it was just nonstop and it was glorious. Thank you so much for watching and please note that I put out new videos every Friday, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss them. See you then, bye.